Hello and welcome to SnowRunner and today we're doing the first look mod review, well first look for me on the 1993, was it 1993? Hang on, let's get that right, 1993 Dodge Ram Cummins. Now this one I've been asked by quite a lot of guys, I've had a lot of messages about when you're going to do this one. So here we do, we're doing it, here we do, here we go, we are doing it. So let's have a look on the outside of this beast and it is a nice looking truck. I do like the older school, old school pickups and what have you. They're pretty nice looking, and this one is very nice looking. I like the look of it. Not as much power um, as some of the others, but uh, it doesn't matter. It's all about getting the job done, and this one does get the job done. So, what options have we available? Let's go into the garage. Now we've got a couple of different engines options for you there. We've got the stock diesel. And then we've got the uh, the tuned one, which obviously I'm using the tuned one, which I always will. And then a balanced one gearbox and an off-road gearbox. Go on to the suspension, and we've got a few different options available for us there. It's got a couple of lifts for towing, stock towing as well. So if you want to keep it low, you can do. And I think we'll just leave it on there. We'll put it on there, because I know what I'm like when I get a high lift. I start getting a little bit wobbly. Quite a few different tyre options. And of course we got the Julies on the back if you want those on there loads of off-road then go on to the mud tires and all these are really nice looking on they? look at that nice fat tires so we will stick with what we got the 38 inches winch options where we've got autonomous autonomous extended which is always handy and then your stock one go on to diff lock and that's already set up and then we've got a couple of different snorkel options available to us remember to put it on on this one and then we have got a few other options here where you've got the bed on there where you can have that removed so if you don't want the bed on there you don't have to have it and then we've got extra weight on the back to give you a bit more traction the goose neck hitch which is a uh, nice that one and then we've got the flat bed the u-back as shane likes to call it and then we move on to the back repair points and yeah and we've got that bed there I'm not too keen on that it looks a bit like I don't know I don't know I probably look better if it was engraved myself rather than brain you know like this stock Ali Ali, Ali uh, aluminium finish or aluminum as you Americans like to call it wrongly anyhow Moving on to the next, we have front side angled visor. Let's go for the angled visor. And then rooftop, we've got a huge amount of different color options, beacon and lights. Green LED roof beacons and various other stuff on there. There's a lot of different modifications available. Then bumpers wise, and um, we've got the, that's the stock one, because when, when, you get, when you buy it, it doesn't come with the stock one whatsoever. And I think we'll, we'll leave it as it is. It's nicer to see what the original vehicle looks like and then inside if you want to change your drinks your beverage you can change that and then onto miscellaneous and we've got just air horns dually fenders as well so if you want to put the duallys on then you can but we'll leave them off for the time being and then exhaust we've got dual stacks which they're pretty nice aren't they let's go for the dual stacks i just hope it's not excessive smoke because uh that will get annoying otherwise Quite a few different wheels, rims available, as you can see. And then moving on to paint options, and quite a few on there. And I do like the look of it being sort of old old school paint style. It would be nice if there was a, a brand new style as well there. So if you wanted to see it looking brand spanking, you could do. And then bobbleheads, look at that guys, I put a bobblehead in there just for you. Accessories. Yeah, we got all them, not interested whatsoever. No exterior customizations for it. And that is your lot for what it's all about. So let's get it out on the open road and go over to the trailer store because I keep forgetting to do this and drive past it every bloody time. So those twin stacks there are all right, actually, they're not excessive smoke. Not like the Navi. So trailer wise, what's it gonna take? And it looks like it's gonna take pretty much everything you need. Oh, gooseneck as well, that is awesome. Check that out. Pretty cool, like that. I'll have to try that out later, I think. 
Right, so let's head down to Smithville. And I've got a little track set up where um, I've been doing these mod reviews basically and uh, I think we'll just stick to that same sort of set route because uh, I know where we're going and well, I should know where we're going. We're playing Smithville for, well, I think the game's nearly been out for about like six months now. It's uh, a long time. Look at all oh, that suspension damage already. It's ridiculous, all these rocks, that needs tweaking. Now I am playing on the latest version of the public test server as well. So it is the latest version of the game, really. It's 10.4. And let's go and put it in in the water, in an eight. And yeah, it's still got a little bit of damage on there. But never mind, got another deep bit over here. And yeah, it's just plowing through all that as if it's not there. Got a bit of a bay wave on the front as well. I like that. That's nice. But let's repair it because we like to have maximum power. There we go. So let's head our way up this trail and the high doesn't give you any enhanced speed. It just knocks that, that fuel rate burning down I think, doesn't it? So what we're doing now, we're doing all over the place, it really is. Yeah, it's less fuel burn without the eye, which is uh, a bit odd. Right, let's go in cab because uh, I never do go in cab, so we do a little bit. I'll tell you what, I can't even see the bloody road now. Oh, it's over this way, isn't it? It's not the best visibility in here, actually, is it really? Yeah, perhaps I, I won't go. In cab's okay if you're using the wheel, but I haven't set the wheel up. I haven't used the wheel since I've been on the laptop. As it, uh, I'm only running off a little screen, so it's not really the same, is it? But it's plowing up there, okay. Jumping all over those rocks. I thought we were in low then, because it did seem a little bit slow, but it's not slow, it's just the fact that I've been using a lot of modded trucks which go like nobody's business, they really do. I was just using the high boy and that is amazing. So fast with the high range gear. Nice if this had a high range gear actually. Whoa, thought we were going to take off then. So we're heading our way up the hill and the auto box is coping with all this. No issues. But it does, does sound pretty nice as well. There's a lot of these vehicles, they do the same crap. But yep, chugging away. Cummins doing his job. So we swing on by the back here. Whoa. And hopefully, because, yeah, that's point, winch options. Ah, see, this one has got the winch options on the side. Now the high boy, I was having a few issues with that where it seems to be missing some winch points. I don't know if that's a mistake or, or what. It caused to be a bloody nightmare. I've had quite a few mods like that now. The forerunner was the same. But at least with the forerunner you could if you winched it on the back and you tried to drag it back over it would let you. Whereas with the high boy, it wasn't having it. I did struggle a little bit. Have to go and check that video out if that interests you. And did you know I cover Snowrunner News? I am the home of Snowrunner News. I call it the home of Snowrunner News because I'm the only one who started from the beginning and I'll be continuing forever as long as Snowrunner is relevant or I'm dead, one or the other. Simple as that. So we'll head off back up this way now. And I'll tell you what, there's a track and I saw it on the map the other day and I was like, I don't think I have ever gone down there because I always go round that way or the other way. Now it's just down here, so if we go down and go through, we can take a little shortcut through the trees. And I saw it on the map and it's like, ah, it's because this bit here I don't go, well, you don't venture into there. But going back this way, ah yeah, I have been down here before. Let's go into a bit of low and check those diff lots. Go a little bit slower, that might help. Because it is quite thick mud there. 
and into the auto. Probably could do with the low still. Yeah, I have been up here. I just haven't been up here for a long time. So let's get the diff lock on and we'll see how it performs going up here. And it does look nice. I do like the look of this. Nice truck. Can't beat a bit of dodge. Riding that, no issues. Pop it up into the auto. Yeah, no problems whatsoever. But this is a nice little trail, this one. Very bumpy. But good for checking that suspension, eh? Go on, get right there. To the sail, it's a dead end. Probably could have done with that that lift on it really. But it seems to be performing with no issues. So yeah, our fuel boy in there is what five. It's averaging about five. Let's knock it up into high. And that's what I don't understand. It's gone straight. It's all over the place, isn't it? down to three and then up down to two it sort of levels eight but if you're putting the power on and off you go oh, yeah you can see it's going up to 12 13 there right let's go and put it through some some of the marshland over here oh yeah it didn't really like that very much let's have a bit of winch on the go drag it back out in a minute and then we'll put it below diff lock on and see how it performs with that's a bit better see I think that's probably down to the point I've I'm a bit low well I should have probably put the, the raised on there oh and look it's one of those stupid bloody trees so yeah it's probably not a good idea going in there where I'm a bit I haven't got enough of a lift on there whoa bloody hell what was going on with the camera then right let's get this she won't reverse because it's in low. Let's head our way round. But it seems to be pretty stable. And I tell you what, I've just I've hit quite a few trees. And they seem to be falling, being knocked over. So have they finally fixed it? So any small trees we can just take out. I'll try and get a bit of speed up and I'll try and whack into one as soon as we've got a decent bit of traction. But I did it with um early I know some of the trees you can knock over anyway. But I was like, right, there was some of the smaller ones that just broke it off straight away and I thought, oh bloody time. Because it is so annoying. You go into a, a small tree and it just stops you dead and you're like, you could fart on that and it'd fall over, so what's the what's why is it being stopped by a truck? Yeah, this is uh, climbing up here. No issues. Oh, just driver issues. Come on, then. Get through there. And into the mud. Yeah, I think that's just that lift. I haven't got the lift on, so it's probably grinding out on the bottom of the vehicle a little bit. But it is a nice looking mod. And this is going to be popular. Now I'm pretty sure a lot of these are going to be coming to console. They're, they're being very secretive about um, what's coming and what's not. It's like... In, in my book, it's like, yeah, that would be great if you weren't so far behind on the game. But as far as I'm concerned, if you're that far behind on the game, just tell us what's coming. Don't give us this, oh, you'll have to wait. Because we've been waiting six months. And when the game first came out and they sold, oh, console mods. I, I 
I fell for it as well. I thought mods were coming within a few weeks. You can see that on my first SnowRunner news video where he was saying, yeah, the mods are going to be coming in a few weeks. And no, they just led us along all the time. And this is what I don't like about these, these larger companies. They just treat me like shite all the time and just keep saying, yeah, yeah, they're coming. And uh, they're not coming. We've been waiting ages. Well, they are coming, but uh, we've been waiting too bloody long for them. But at least the game seems to be running a lot better now. Let's try and hit one of these bigger trees. No, wait. See, I wouldn't expect the truck to knock that over. But let's hopefully come across. Like these other ones, they flatten those anyway. And it'd be nice if it snapped these ones off instead of just running them over. But no. It's typical in that. I'm trying to find a, a semi small tree. I can't bloody find any. But never mind. Right, so we'll head our way back down to. Well, this is a nice little test track where I like using this bit down here. Swing a right and head our way down this way. And I like using this same route, and then you can actually see. Oh, zoom back out and see what sort of how they go down here. It's a good comparison. Comparison if you go in using the same sort of route all the time, you can sort of see the difference. But I think the best one I've had down here so far is the, the high boy that was uh, that was flying. And we didn't struggle with it, with the lift. We do need that lift. I probably should need low, but. I haven't got patience for low. We don't need low, not when we have power. But yep, got through all that, alright. See how it copes with the next couple of obstacles. We've got the water. Just around the next bend. But very stable mod. Oh gonna have to be a bit low with lockers on there and we'll get a winch on the go as well love that extended winch should all have extended winches from the start I don't know why they gave us the tiny little winches because in real life if your winch didn't reach what you do you go and extend it put some rope on it or something but no it's no one I want you to struggle right you can come out of that because this should just drive through the water without any problems, I'm hoping. Yeah, a little bit of underwater. And it'd be nice if you went through the water and it actually cleaned your truck off. Yeah, I suppose that might come at a later time. Let's spin it to the... Whoa! Nearly lost it. Nearly. Just my expert driving skills managed to keep it rubber side down. Yeah, and I know a lot of you go, yeah, Roy, right, what are you on about? You drive like a twat. And it's like, yeah, okay. I might do. I just like to use power. Come on. And it's not that battered, actually. Some of these mod reviews I do, the vehicle is absolutely battered. Righto, well that's it for today's, the, the 1990, no, I'll tell you what, I should have bloody wrote it down, what are you doing? But yeah, it was 19, it's the Dodge, 1983, 93. <coughs> Excuse me. Righto, try again. That's it for today's episode of Mod Review for the 1993 Dodge Ram Cummins and what an awesome one. It's a nice, not overpowered at all, so if you're not into your overpowered, you're going to love this one because it's not excessive at all. It's a nice little skate. It does what it does. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode and don't forget to go and check out my other videos. Until next time. Goodbye.